And Charlie X is asking, what music or movies does SVS use uh, for evaluation? Oh, this is a great question. And, and actually, this is this is a great question for, for really anybody. Uh, everybody, I, I recommend this to all, people all the time. You should make a collection of short 20, 30 second clips of different kinds of music for doing A, B testing and listening. And, and the goal is that this is stuff that you know intimately well um, so that you can listen for certain acoustic cues and artifacts and, and whether or not it's doing something right or doing something wrong. Um, but, but warning, don't pick your favorite songs because you will learn to hate these songs. I cannot listen to them. <laughs> Yeah. So, so, so you Gary made this mistake. I, I, I think you talked from experience, eh? I've definitely done this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, I've all had right. very visceral reactions to hearing some of my test tracks just come on casually, where I'm like, "No, stop, stop, um, change the channel." No, it's, um, you know, there's a mild Miles Davis track that Gary introduced me to called um, uh, "From Where My Prince Shall Come." I, I, I think that's the name of it. Someday my uh, prince shall come. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and. It's a it's a great it's a great track, but it has this really articulate, beautiful upright bass that comes in, and it is a perfect example of testing a speaker or a subwoofer for, um, you know, how how clear, how uh, pronounced, and uh, how musical or, or natural can it make an upright bass sound. Now, part of what an uh, upright bass is is also the higher harmonic. Uh, timbral effects that will come through your speaker, but you you really want um, a, a a great performance from your subwoofer, and that's that's a great tra track for that one. Um, there is a Bob Dylan track, a long, "Man in a Long Black Coat," that we use a lot, and it is. <laughs> You're kind of sick of it, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> I, that that song has basically never been a listenable song for me. Yeah. Um, but it is a fantastic demo track. Uh, it has the full the full range of the dynamic spectrum. So it has loud, it has quiet, it has high frequency, it has low frequency. It has a really great recording of a male vocal voice. You know, Nora Jones is is always a reference material from the first album because it's a great reference for female vocal voice. Um, my my recommendation is just pick songs that you don't cherish. <laughs> Um, right. <laughs> but, but, but pick songs that kind of hit the full spectrum of, of the things that you would want to maybe listen, listen for. So, you know, loud. So, so maybe you don't, you don't cherish it, but, but you're familiar with it. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and the, and the more you listen to it, you'll, you'll become even more intimately familiar with it. And so there, you know, people talk about how, um, perception of when listening to a speaker changes. Like if you're, if you're trying to do like a truly blind AB demo, you know, it, the speaker needs to change the exact position, the big exact position. You, know, you need to not know which one's where. And, you know, it's got to be totally seamless. And that's basically almost impossible. Um, well, so, uh, you know, Har you Harman, has, Harman has done it in their multi-channel yeah, listening done room. It. And, and I think they, the they spent hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars on that place. Right. Yeah. So this is this is like an unrealistic re requirement for normal people. Um, right. But for everybody else that wants to bring some speakers into their home and do an A-B test, you know, you have to, you have to go back and forth uh, quite a few, quite a few times to kind of um, like acclimate to the listening experience and what you're listening for. And having that breadth and, and material and being able to take, you know, having a notepad, take notes down. And then you do a bunch of listening, you go back and forth, back and forth on different types of stuff, and then go back to the beginning and stuff, listen to it again, because maybe your perception has changed and you need to listen to it again. Mm -hmm. um, and and it, it requires a degree of honesty that is um, that's that's hard. It's hard. It's hard to be honest with what you're hearing uh, sometimes. 